Hey, what's up everyone? It's the Tastemaker and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a very fun video for you guys as I will be trying out some 30 inch hair. Now this 30 inch hair is not human hair necessarily. It's human hair blend and it's not completely synthetic either. So I wanted to share this wig with you because it is something that is trendy and affordable. Now when you're trying to get hair that long, most of the time people don't find it very practical, which is understandable obviously that is kind of ridiculous to walk around with hair that long but the 30 inch actually isn't as bad as you would think now obviously it depends on your height I am 5'3 so it is pretty long on me but I also feel like it could be longer this wig is very affordable compared to what you would end up paying if you were to go out and buy bundles and buy hair that is 30 plus inches you're gonna spend over $300 we know that but this unit is less than that it is only $64.95 and this wig was sent to me from divatress.com so thank you divatress for sponsoring this video now as you guys see this is the lace parting I did not pluck this. I have not bleached any kind of knots. You guys see how flat this wig is. It is extremely flat. And you guys, it is a 13 by 4 frontal. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never in my life seen a 13 by 4 frontal on a synthetic human hair blend kind of wig. It is first of its kind, in my opinion. I haven't seen anyone here on YouTube review this wig, which was more of a reason for me to get this. And it is fairly new. And oh my gosh, you guys, you see the parting. I did not put any concealer. I didn't put any, put any powder. And as you guys see, I didn't even need to do baby hairs because there is no line of demarcation. Yes, you guys can see a little bit of the knots. But other than that, I mean, from afar, you, I mean, you can't really tell like that anyway. So if you want to get more details on this wig, how I slayed it, how it got it to look like this, then just keep on Hey, y'all. So we got another wig. This is what it looks like. So this is the Melanin Queen Tiger Eye Brazilian Frontal Lace Your Beauty Empowers Human Hair Style Mix. So it means it's a human hair blend. This is a yakky style and it is 30 inches long. This is what it looks like on the model. And the thing that I really like about this wig is that it's boom. 13 by 4. Now, this is a lace frontal. Because it's 13 by 4, that means you can part it anywhere. Like, the whole front is lace. And you guys know, a lot of times when I do these reviews, there's only, like, this much lace. Or it's, like, literally, like, the lace is, like, the size of my finger. But this is basically the whole front part of your head. And this is 30 inches. I haven't seen anyone review this wig, so I was really excited about that. So I can be one of the first ones to do it for you guys. So they said the benefits of this wig, it's a natural-looking scalp. We'll see about that. It says it's hand tied frontal lace, free parting, 13 by 4 coverage, updo and ponytail versatility. So they're saying that it, maybe it's a 360, you can put it up into a ponytail. To me, honestly, you got to be real careful when putting your hair up when you have lace frontals. If it's not plucked right, if it's not flat and right, don't do it. Don't look like her because that that's a no. And the, look, no, we're not going to do that. Anyway, it says it's soft and manageable, nat natural comfort, undetectable hairline. Bruh, don't play me. Uh, friendly on edges. Okay, that's good. And they're saying that it is soft lace. I know a lot of a lot of the times you guys want to know, is it hard lace or is it soft lace? This is soft lace. So we're going to go ahead and open her up. I do have this in the color one. Um, the, one the color that's on this box is 99J, so if you did want that kind of burgundy color I guess and then so this is a 99 J and then this is the brown one over here that one is the TE 1B 27 30 33 so anyway let's go ahead and open this up so it opens up like this Ooh, I love packaging I'm like a so I love packaging so when you open it up it has like the little card in there and the frontal <gasps> oh you guys oh my god okay they weren't lying. The frontal is actually bomb. Like, just look at the side. I haven't even done anything. Like, look. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. So, let me go ahead and take this out of here. So, you just pull it straight out like that. Um, going to go ahead and take this off. Oh, and one of my subscribers, thank you guys so much. So, one of you guys told me that this little clear thing, the reason why they put it on top is to keep the box from smashing the wig. So, thank you for that because I had no idea what that was for. So, here comes the fishnet. Take the fishnet off of there and this is what the wig is looking like straight out of the packaging so i'm gonna run my fingers through it 
it feels, oh, it does have tangling at the ends. It feels a little weird and it feels kind of thin too. It's not very full, it doesn't seem like, but with this hair, hair this long, you don't really need it to be that full. Okay, let me just dump all this stocking stuffers stuff out of here. So what the heck is going on with this? How is this? Oh, okay, they have it like inside of the combs. Let me take that out. Okay. Oh, and this is very lightweight. Okay, and this is 30 inches, y'all. 30 inches, oh my God. Okay, so the parting, the lace, yes, they weren't lying. Um, this is very, very natural lace parting here. I may or may not have to do any adjustments to it. So it is 13 by four. Let me show you guys the inside. So this is the frontal, it's not even opening up all the way. So that is how much frontal space you get. And then of course they have tracks in the back, combs and your adjustable straps, very typical for a wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my norm, cut all this stuff off and I'll be right back. So I got my comb, I got my got to be glued, get this blow dryer and let's get to applying this bad boy. Okay guys, so I've already flat ironed this side and I'm just gonna stand up so you guys can see what it's looking like. So I flat ironed this side and then this side still needs to be flat ironed. So it does get really silky and I did have it on the highest seat, the highest setting on my flat iron, which is 450. So it does flat iron nicely as you guys can see. It's very sleek, it combs out beautifully. So I'm just gonna take the front piece here and anytime that I flat iron my hair, I always use a comb um, because it helps your hair get really straight. And I'm not going to go all the way up to the root, but just here on the lower half. And then just run it through. I'll show you guys all the way through to the ends. Boom. And you guys see that? So that's how it gets. And so I'm just going to continue to do the rest of my hair like that. <laughs> inch melanin wig you can get this wig on divatress.com not only is it affordable but it's very natural um you can definitely test out the 30 inch trend that's going on right now without actually going out and spending hundreds of dollars for this kind of look because 30 inch hair is obviously going to be very expensive one thing that you are going to expect with a wig like this or any kind of hair that's extremely long is tangling i don't have any right now but i know like as the day goes along i may or may not receive tangling so I will of course give you guys an update on this wig after I want it for 24 hours Alrighty, I'll see you guys in a little bit Now as far as the cons on this wig the only con that I would say is that the ends get a little bit tangled You do need to keep a brush with you at all times This is not one of those wigs you're just gonna be able to put on and go and not take a brush with you You're definitely gonna need to bring a brush with you or some kind of comb just to comb out the ends because it does get a little bit frizzy um, and as far as I because I don't know. I think that's just what it is anyway with long hair. So, and to be honest, that's literally the only con that I have. Everything else I absolutely love about this wig. I love the flow to this wig. When they said that it was very natural, they meant that it was very natural because a lot of times, you know, people say natural hairline, natural parting, and it's just like, no, it is absolutely not. But this is definitely natural straight out of the box. So it is true to the terms. I definitely wanna try more wigs from this collection. I don't know about you guys, but I've never tried this brand before. It's called Melanin Queen. This isn't like any of those. Oh, it's by Main Concept. So this is by Main Concept Hair, and it is the Melanin Queen series, I guess, that they have. So 
it is free parting. They were true. It was true about that. It said it's soft and manageable. I would say it is very soft to touch. Um, they they said it is a yakky texture. It's yakky ish, but it's still very silky. What is this I have in my hair? I got something in my hair. They said it's yakky, but you guys can see the texture up close. It's very silky. There isn't too much of the whole yakky feel. Um. So, and it says that this is friendly on your edges, which is very important as we all know. If you're somebody who wears wigs consistently, especially like me because I am putting got to be glued, that's why a lot of times you guys see I'm putting it on my skin and not on my baby hair or on my actual hairline. I try to avoid that as much as possible because when you are doing that, even if it is got to be glued, it will start to damage your edges. So you want to be very careful when using it. Make sure that you're putting it on your skin, like right before your baby hairs. Like that's where you should put the cap over your baby hairs to protect your baby hairs and then put it in front of the cap line and that'll help you guys save your edges and that's good to know that this lace is soft enough and it is very comfortable um, as well. I will say that I agree to that. So everything it is that they claim in the back of this wig is true but the only thing i will say is i don't know about the whole updo ponytail versatility i don't know if i would put this in a ponytail at all i'm pretty sure that you could if you really wanted to but you won't see me doing that like the only time you'll see me do my hair in a ponytail or have it up is if i have like a 360 frontal and even then like it has to be plucked to perfection it has to be bleached to perfection so you guys don't forget to go to divatress.com to pick up this unit and make sure that you are following divatress on their instagram account you can see real girls like myself trying on their units and pick a wig for yourself and they always have great discounts on their wigs and of course you guys get the discount code that i have down below